Shimai GTA Chums, we have the Maxwell Asbo on discount. It's it's 150 or 200 grand, most likely 200 grand, and it's probably uh, well, it's the cheapest one out this week. This is it. It's basically a terrible, terrible little car. You may recognise it. It's either a Vauxhall or an Opel. So in the UK, it's called a Vauxhall Corsa. In um, the, on the continent, it's either a Vauxhall. It's either an Opel Corsa or it's an Opel Nova. Um, not anything to do with a Chevy Nova, although I think GMC might own uh, Vauxhall and Opel. I've not done any of the upgrades yet. Um, we're going to do that right now. Okay, um, engine, yes. I mean, not not that it'll help because I know that it'll be a terrible car if it's anything like the real car. It's the worst car you can possibly buy. <laughs> so, yeah, not recommended at all. What the hell? Do you see that? You see that? Oh, that is definitely a chav car. This is a chav car, which is why the wheels go like that. But you have to do it. You have to do it because that is life. Life deals you this kind of nonsense sometimes. So I'm not going down the route of recommending this car right now. But you never know. When I drive it, I might think it's amazing. I don't think I will. If it's anything like the real car. Pussycat, that is a great livery right there. Um, yeah, the liveries are all terrible. Absolutely, make your mark. That is perhaps Fukaru. No, terrible, terrible, or terrible. I've got it blue because a chum had one of these, exactly the same model, um, with those stupidly. Exactly, it was a piece of crap. Um, in fairness, it didn't actually break down, but he wasn't a chav, um, um, so he didn't break down. Right, you can remove the trim for a start. We're going to do that. Good. Um, brakes, front bumpers. I don't know what we're even doing. What colour are we doing this thing? I've, oh Christ, I've, I've got completely lost, but we can do that. We can do this. Um, primary arches. Okay. Tuna bumper. Like, we've got to chav it up, I think. I feel like we've got to chav it up. A street bumper. It, there we go. Competition bumper. That is ridiculous. What did I just do that for? This is a chav car though. We are going to maximise the chav look to it. We're going to put all the worst stuff on it to make it completely bad ass. I feel like that is what a chav would do. That's why I'm doing what I do now. It's what a chav would do. It's not what I would do. I think it looks terrible. <laughs> it's a chav car though. Full, half lids, full lids. I think full lids look awesome. 1.2 grand? No way. You'd never do that. Now your your average average countryside chav would probably put a really ridiculous bonnet on top of it, or no bonnet at all, most likely what, what they're driving around with. Um, I'm going to do it slightly tasteful. Dare I say that? Actually, is that tasteful? That's probably the least tasteful, tasteful one. So we're going to go with the OTT. I mean, this car has to be OTT to go chav. You've got to do it that way. I want to put a livery on still. Well, actually, what's that? A free livery, full of sprunk. I'm spunky, relieve stress and anxiety. Well, actually, you know, I'm gonna. It's free, so yeah, we're gonna do it for that reason. And it is the Chav build, primary colour. I'm gonna go with the classics because they're free. What Chav doesn't um, want some at free. Ultra blue is a great colour blue. It's not the blue that my chum had. He had the other blue. What else can we do? What would a Chav do? What would a Chav do? Trying to think what colours they go for. Um, blaze red. I mean, the red is kind of a good, a classic, isn't it? They wouldn't go for pink. Like a yellow, maybe a race yellow is the way to go. Or dew yellow, being a chav. I reckon they might go for dew yellow. What would a chav do? It's the most important question you'll ask yourself. Because when you're in a dark alley. A chav's walking your way. What are they going? Walking your way. What are they going to do? Purple. Yeah, they could do purple, but secondary colour. But it's their mum's car, and they've just put these stickers on it, and it, that yellow is about right. Uh, blue colour. What? I'm tempted by white for this. I'm going to go. I'm going to try and make it the most acceptable possible frost white. Uh, uh, trim colour. Okay, this is pretty good having a trim colour. I mean, with Bluish silver, anyone? Oh, do you want a chav? Would probably go frost white. Oh, they they probably go yellow, wouldn't they? The chavs. 
But what did Chav do? Although actually Surf Blue, <laughs> that looks quite ridiculous, but the Chavs would love it. Accent colour, alright. Alright, this is colouring in the uh, dials. Sienna Brown, anyone? I think an orange or yellow, actually. Yellow, because it goes with the blue. Crew emblem goes on a door like so. Look at that. <laughs> this is proper bow chav. This is exactly what a chav would do. They don't have, really have roof boxes chavs, but they would stick this thing, useless thing on the primary scoop. And the chepel. They go for both. Can we get both? Or do you have to get one? Primary scoop, right? Can we get... No, we can, it's one or the other. It's terrible. Skirt. So they go for the maximum s skirt. What would a chav do? Hey kid, I'm gonna go for the best skirt. Competition skirt, it makes it go faster like. Hey. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's a scouse chav. We'd have to we'd have to go for some kind of wing up here. What would a chav do? The biggest possible wing, I think. Wing ding. Like I, I also want something that's oh yes. That is the one, the sprunk master. That is it. That is what a chav would do, definitely. Suspension as we've done, transmission, trunk. Oh yeah, this is it. This is, I mean, I feel like I want to go for the most expensive because it's shiny. It's shiny and chavs love shiny things. So for that reason, I'm going for that. Uh, turbo is done, wheels, right. These are the chav wheels. Um, oh, they can't afford very much. Chavs are quite cheap in many ways. Diamond cut, it's got just the right level of what they think is blingy, but actually it looks good, so we're going to do it. Wheel colour, it's got to be black, I think, but what would a chav do? Oh, let's let's go black, give the, cut the chavs a bit of a break. Bulletproof's tie design, it's got to have custom ties, the Atomics, definitely, and the chav would have to have the yellow tyre smoke. How many times can I say chav in one video? Black out the windows, of course you're going to do that. You are a chav, so you black out the windows because it makes you feel all drug dealer and hardcore. Right, that's it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Registration plate, why? How did I miss that? Damn it! Sorry, guys, we're going we're going back in. Seven minutes. This is a proper. This is a chav customization. You just don't want to buy this. Um, somehow I missed the plate because I always. Plate. Chav would go for party on because it's not really a chav word. Yellow and black. Yes, that is it. Complete. We have done it. We are chav masters. For 200 grand, that is decent customization. But we're going to go outside and see what it drives like. It should be front wheel drive and it should be pretty damn terrible. I think it is quite terrible. I think that is front wheel drive. Yeah, they're basically driving the mum's car. What the hell? Hang on, was that rear wheel drive? Let's have a look. No, front wheel drive, that is correct. Well done. Oh, the Vauxhall Corsa. It's a real little, real terrible car. And I bought this so that you guys don't have to, basically. It's not that it's overrated or anything. It's just that it's terrible. It's just plain terrible to drive. I hate it. What? It's got so much understeer. And it doesn't have the best amount of grip either. Look at that. Oh, I mean, what the hell? What the... I, mean, I like I like the internal. That looks nice in blue. I mean, it's not the best at the back. Those rear seats are pretty terrible. I don't know why it's got rear seats. It's only like two door. It would be pretty cool if it had like rear seats that people can get in. Just like the real thing, because... It's terrible. Oh, this is, oh, I need to sell this. I can't drive this. I just cannot drive. Yeah, it's the middle of the night, but that's not a reason. It's basically that it's a terrible car. What time is it? 16.52. It's middle of the night for me. Not in-game, obviously. It's bedtime. It's well past my bedtime, but... Yeah. I mean, we're going to do what Chavs all do. They all go to the Asda Boggs car park and they all line up in a little Chav wagons, which are just terrible cars that they bought for a few grand. Um, well, look at that, I got around a corner. Just about. That is terrible. 
You need to handbrake it, but that, even that doesn't help. Okay, let's let's try one last corner, give it a chance. Okay, so basically if the corner is really wide, you're fine, but if it's tight like this, you're in for trouble. You need to break hard in order to make the corner. So, yeah, I, mean, I suppose it is terrible. It is a terrible car. Um, but in real life, I'm sure they, they don't drive as actually as bad. No, I don't think they do. I think I'm thinking about the, the Clito. No, actually, the Clio might be better. I think I've driven one of these. It was like a 1.3 or something, and it was really, really slow, and the performance was terrible. So this represents it, in a way, the painful feeling of driving the hey. thing. But it wasn't the cornering that was a problem, it was the speed um, up hills, even with a light load. It was terrible. So it, I really am reminiscing that worst experience, driving it, one of the worst exp driving experiences of my life. Worse, even in the time I had a, pr a Proton in Mauritius. Proton. That had... The gearbox was short. It was terrible trying to change from like second to third. It just wouldn't go in. Couldn't get it in. Um, that wasn't the only problem I had like that on that holiday. It wasn't really. Only a joke. Solid. Anyway. Um, do you want to buy this car? Off me. Because I don't want it. <laughs> you don't want it either. Don't buy it. It's got decent customization, and that is all. You will get frustrated trying to drive it around. It's just like driving a crap car. I'm going to finish this video by doing the chav thing and just park it somewhere completely inappropriate and then I'm going to open all my doors and we're going to have a look at it and go, oh look at this, what an amazing car, wow that's the best car I've ever seen, listen to the sound system and the engine, you know the engine looks decent, that's good, you know it needs to be. It needs to have something. The back seats are terrible, um, but overall, as far as looks, they nailed it. The, the, and the customization, and the looks, and the driving, it they nailed it. It's exactly a representative of how crap this car is in real life, and you will suffer if you buy it. So, do as you do as you please with that information, and let me know your thoughts on the car in the comments, of course. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day if you are playing Dust GTA.